Tonight, join Ed Cavalier, Celia Pacola, Troy Kinney, Rachel Corbett and Sam Pang as we test their knowledge of the week's events on Have You Been Paying Attention? And now, here's your host, Tom Gleisner. Welcome to the show this Sunday, November 24. And it's been something of a dramatic week, dominated by our ongoing standoff with Indonesia. In latest news, our embassy in Jakarta has been egged overnight. Not clear yet whether it's protesters or schoolies. We're looking into that one. <laughs> Prime Minister Tony Abbott has been criticised for his handling of the situation. For what it's worth, I like his approach. It's in no one's interest to do anything or to say anything. Can't argue with that. Now, to help us make sense of this and everything else from the past seven days, I'm joined by a group of highly attentive news watchers, including radio and TV funny man Ed Cavalier, stand-up comedian and actor Celia Pacola, radio presenter and stand-up Troy Kinney, writer, presenter and past winner Rachel Corbett, and finally, a man who was seen partying with Bernard Tomic on the Gold Coast this week, <laughs> the 40-year-old schoolie himself, Mr Sam Hay. <laughs> All right, you guys know how this game's played. Hands on buzzers, let's get cracking. Governor-General Quentin Bryce has shocked many by calling for what? <laughs> Celia. Uh, uh, Same-sex marriage and a republic. I'll pay that. Double, double whammy from the GG. But just 10 points from me. Oh, what is Indonesia demanding from Australia? <laughs> Rachel. Uh, an, an explanation about the spying situation, the alleged spying situation, oh, and perhaps not sending schoolies anymore? Both of those. <laughs> uh, summed up by an apology, we'll pay that. Who this week was described as looking like a 1970s Filipino porn star? <laughs> Rachel. Is Rose Porteous back in the news? <laughs> Sure, anyone? Uh, Ed. Uh, President Udiono? No, in fact, it was his Foreign Affairs Minister, Marty Natter Lagawa. Embattled Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, the gift that keeps on giving, <laughs> has been called before a formal inquiry. Take a look at this and tell me what happens next. <laughs> Troy. Well, it all depends. If he said duck, nothing. If he said goose, she chased him. <laughs> Definitely in the zone. Anyone see that footage, Ed? He he, he bowls her over. He, he smacks her right over. He knocked over oh, a let's see that. fellow councillor. We will see that. <laughs> oh. Bang, that's the yes. But the question is, did he her. make it to oh. the Mr. Whippy van? Yeah, he, was, <laughs> he was charging at hecklers. That is Canada's version of the running of the bulls, right there. <laughs> On whose grave did Presidents Obama and Clinton lay a wreath? <laughs> Sam, was it Patrick from Offspring? <laughs> I think a little closer to home for the, uh, the President's Rachel. Uh, it was JFK. JFK, 50th anniversary of his assassination. Someone actually said to me, I'm like, is it Jeff? I'm like, you think it's Jeff FK? <laughs> <laughs> is that actually the only photo? Because I heard there was a second photographer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do check that. I'd like to pay the 10 points for that. Troy can't do it. Paris was in lockdown on Tuesday. Why? <laughs> Troy. Hopefully, because she's making another video. <laughs> Oh, the city, the city! I... <laughs> yes. It may well be, I don't know, but uh, Rachel. Uh, there was a shooting there. There was a gunman. He's now been captured. He was on the loose. He shot a newspaper photographer. And uh, this is some CCTV footage of him heading into a uh, newspaper office, and the, the old gentleman heading up the stairs has no idea. Just, I guess when you're focusing on stairs, you can't... Uh... <laughs> You don't have time to look around at a man holding a gun. <laughs> it was recommended this week Australians not do what until they're 70? <laughs> Troy. Become a Qantas air hostess, which is how they've always done it. Right? <laughs> Sam. Wear a navy blue suit and a light blue shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that is weird. <laughs> well, I don't know. Ten points for that, Tommy. <laughs> no points for that, Peng. It's, uh, it's retire. Oh. Tell me, who are these people and who are they cheering for? Oh. Ed. Uh, they are dyslexic fans of tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. They are Costa Rican supporters and they're at the soccer during the at week, the Tom. the friendly. They call themselves Ticos. Ten points, Just Sam. Just answer will do, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so to the uh, welcome to the scoreboard, Sam. <laughs> oh. Do 
Do we have Sam's name? We do. Okay. <laughs> Tommy, is right now a good opportunity to apologise for that? <laughs> Because we've got a whole show ahead of us. We do. We've got a lot of segments to get through. US news anchors were forced off air during their broadcast. Take a look. I am hearing things right now, Chuck. Yes. I think we, um, we may need to take shelter right yes. now ourselves. We do. We need to go off the air. Yeah. We will be back when we can. Right. We'll be right back. What were they sheltering from? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was some kind of uh, tornado. Which a was tornado? Good. I mean, not good, but they were doing the weather at the time, so it was good that they knew. They knew the tornado yeah. was coming. <laughs> It'd be really embarrassing if the roof comes off, like, what is that? <laughs> is that <laughs> anyway, weather. Quite correct, Celia, a tornado that ripped through Illinois. People were surprised to learn what about Q&A host Tony Jones this week? <laughs> Sam. His salary. Indeed, $355,000 a year. What? ABC salaries were leaked this year. What do you reckon Dora the Explorer gets? <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? Celia. Well, uh, you can't see their faces, so I'm going to say sexy dentists. <laughs> <laughs> I'd so like to pay that, Celia, <laughs> but I can't. Rachel. Hmm. I, I don't know who they are now, but in about nine months, they'll be young mothers, I think. <laughs> That's uh, part of the deal up uh, up in this location, Sam. Well, I'd say they're not. They're four women, so they're not part of Tony Abbott's cabinet. But correct. Um, <laughs> they're schoolies. Too. They're schoolies partying on the Gold Coast. The Bachelor reached its climax oh. on Wednesday. Who won? Rachel. I'm pretty sure that the climax was faked, but it was Anna. I think <laughs> we will pay that. It was a beautiful oh. moment for those who may have missed it. I think summed up by Anna. I never thought I'd be in this position. Wait for the rap party. All right. <laughs> Bernard Tomic hit the headlines on Friday. What for? Ed. Um, he was seen partying at schoolies. Indeed, and in fact getting a... Uh, well, he got a lap dance from two girls, and we can see there he's a tennis player. He likes singles, but he prefers mixed triples. <laughs> Quite clear from the photo. And that brings us to the end of round one. We've got plenty more of the week to wade through when we return with Have You Been Paying Attention? <laughs> Have you been paying attention? And exciting news. Our show's format is being copied around the world. Take a look at this press conference in Brazil leading up to the Formula One Grand Prix. <laughs> All right, hands on buzzers. Let's go with round two. Who has been named the sexiest man alive? Ed. It's uh, the singer, the Maroon 5, Adam. Adam Levine, the lead singer of Maroon 5. The Hunger Games opened on Thursday, starring which Hemsworth? <laughs> Sam. Groucho. <laughs> Liam, what award is Oprah receiving? It's Troy. I'm going to throw some words out there. If any hit, you let me know. <laughs> Presidential Freedom Medal. I think Medal of Freedom. We will pay that. <laughs> For a fishing exercise and an answer, but well done. Wouldn't it be a better way to give that to her would have been to get her to sit down and say, look under your seat? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you Just obviously watch a lot of daytime TV. <laughs> Buzz in if you know what this ad is for. <laughs> Celia. Uh, Channel 10 now has the exclusive sports coverage from Narnia, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a winner. Yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah. Troy. I don't know what, but I think it's coffee. Troy, that's extraordinary. It's Cut Noir Instant Coffee. Uh, Please it's an exceptional <laughs> whole bean instant coffee. Geez, for instant coffee, Tom, it took a long time to get there, didn't it? <laughs> Ten points, Troy. Name the Kardashian mm. sister in the country. Oh, oh Celia, very It's tidy. the one with the makeup and the hair and the name that starts with K. That's all of us. <laughs> I think, no, I don't know, I don't know. It's, um, uh, it's Chloe. Spelled with a... With a K. Tell me, what is Chloe doing here? <laughs> Sam. Very good question, Tom. <laughs> I that, but I can't. She's here for a reason. Anyone know? Celia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> more reluctantly I give just, an answer. I Why? I hate that I know this. She's promoting... It's, it makes me so mad because she's making people spell things wrong. It's the Kardashian collection with, with a K. two Ks. Ten points, Celia. I'm sorry we had to put I you know, through I'm that. I'm sorry as well. We'll move on to safer territory. <laughs> Tell me, what prompted this angry outburst from Lucas Neal? Later, scrambling in the box and another chance. 
hit. The home fans were booing him, Tom. And uh, Lucas set two records this week, 61 caps yeah. as captain and most use of the word Australia in a single sentence. I'm an Australian coming to Australia to play for Australia and to be booed by Australians. It's unacceptable. If only he'd said un-Australian, yeah. it would have just... You know, <laughs> Missed it. Missed no, opportunity. Well. <laughs> George Bailey made a bet. If Australia wins the Ashes, he'll do what? <laughs> Troy. Kick himself for betting on England. <laughs> it was on Sydney Radio. He, he's going to get a full sleeve tattoo. Oh, wow. He's a very pale Tasmanian. It's yeah. going to be an ugly and painful <laughs> business. Oh, yes, Sam. If I win this show... <laughs> <laughs> What old technology has Channel 9 updated for the Ashes? Rachel. Is it Richie Benno? Not the answer I have Ooh, here. Oh, too much. Troy. The real time Snicko. The Snickometer, quite correct. It's real time Snickometer, 10 points. What did Shane Watson say in the first innings when he edged the ball to slips? Sam. I'm going to review that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably thought that, but didn't actually utter that phrase, Troy. He said, oh, no. Troy, you've been watching very closely. Have a look. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, then he reviewed it, Tommy. Tell me, what's going on here? He's done it again! This is absolutely astonishing! Surely now! Sam. That is uh, the Portuguese team celebrating Ronaldo's goal that put him into the World Cup. Indeed, against Sweden. In fact, a hat-trick on that evening. Well done, Sam. That tattoo is coming ever closer. <laughs> Tell me, why is this woman running naked around a tree? <laughs> Celia. I was young and I needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're actually in the zone. She's a French weather presenter, Doria Tiller, and she vowed to read the forecast naked if France qualified for the World Cup. Mm. What's she going to do if they win? <laughs> that brings us to the end of round two. Let's check these scores. And look at that. It's a five-way tie. But, of course, that could all change when we return right after this. We're back. It's special topic time, a.k.a. Newsmakers. Troy, you've nominated Aussie supermodel Miranda Kerr, who's oh, been making yeah. headlines for weeks. i got to tell you, You're... it was so hard to explain to everyone that the photos on my computer were work-related this week. <laughs> Your time starts now. What town did she grow up in? Gunnedah. Her career started after winning a competition in what magazine? Dolly magazine. She recently split from husband... Orlando Bloom. What was awkward about her handshake this week with Simon Cowell? He went in for the kiss. Called her in, didn't he? In his defence, that's how he kisses all women who are Victoria's Secret models. <laughs> She's come under fire for posting this shot of herself on Instagram. Why? I was angry about this too. Her nipples are covered. <laughs> I think the issue was her waist had been photoshopped. Why? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Troy Kinney knows his Miranda Kerr. Very impressive. Ed, he's Australia's hard-hitting batsman, Dave Warner. He's been a star this week at the Gabba. Yes. Let's see what you've managed to learn. What did he score in his second innings at the Gabba? Uh, 124. Who did he tell to stop sucking before the first test? Stuart Broad. Correct. What's his nickname? The Accused. <laughs> Don't know, it's, mm. it's mean. It's Lloyd, Lloyd. from Dumb and Dumber. Which Correct. Is not a compliment. He plays for which IPL side? Uh, the Mumbai Match Fixers. <laughs> I think it's the Delhi Daredevils. And which Big Bash side? Sydney Thunder. Sydney Thunder coming soon to 10. Who is his girlfriend? Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, um, Fals uh, Candice Falzon. Iron Woman Candice Falzon. Yeah. He holds what record? Highest domestic one day score 197. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Ed Cavalier knows he's Lloyd. Well done. Celia, it's one of the longest-running TV series in the world, celebrating its 50th anniversary today. Doctor Who. <sighs> Very exciting. There he is. What happened around the world this morning at 6.50am? Uh, it was the global telecast of the 50th anniversary uh, special episode, uh, which is the Day of the Doctor. Who played the first ever Doctor? Uh, Dr Carl Kennedy. <laughs> no. uh, William... The first, uh, where, William Hartnell. Pay that. Who will play the newest Doctor? Peter Capaldi. Correct. Mm -hmm. What are Doctor Who fans known as? Single. <laughs> or Whovians. 
Where do Daleks come from? Uh, Scaro. Who is their leader? Davros. Anyone turned on yet? <laughs> Don't think so. Not over here. Where, where was the Doctor born? Gallifrey. The planet Gallifrey. What tool does he use to get out of dangerous situations? The uh, sonic screwdriver. Sonic screwdriver. <laughs> what, oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, seriously. Yeah. Oh. Sam, like more than a million viewers this week, you were glued to the Bachelor finale. Let's see what you can tell us about the winner. All right, can I just say, just, I watched one episode. <laughs> but I'll, I'll give it a go. I've been, you know. Here we go. What's her full name? Anna Heinrich. What does she do? Criminal lawyer. What did she win? She won a, uh, a diamond ring and a year's supply of VB. <laughs> We'll take the ring, a promise ring. What's her hometown? Goulburn. In the final episode, she presented Tim with 40 what? Dollars? <laughs> uh, cards. 40 cards. Who did she beat? Rochelle. Rochelle from and, Perth. And also, crippling loneliness, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> She's now got a life partner. This is a little off topic, but what were Tim's final words to Rochelle? They were, Rochelle... Do you think Michael Clark should bat at four or five? <laughs> I'll give you the final. No, words. it was hit the bricks. No, well close. It was I will walk you out. And it's all over. Tommy. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Payne. One episode that you, you knew it. You drilled down. Well done, sir. Rachel, things have been a little tense between us and them all week. See if you can fill in a few details with your newsmaker topic, Indonesia. Your time starts now. What is the capital city? Uh, Jakarta. Name the currency. It is the Indonesian rupiah. Name a famous national dish. Uh, that'd be number 13, nasi goreng. <laughs> hey, that. Name the president. Uh, Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono de the Fandango. <laughs> Name the only Hindu island. Uh, Bali. Bali. What do most Australians leave Bali with? Uh, the three Bs. That'd be a bintang singlet, braids and a burning sensation in their private. <laughs> I will pay that. With Indonesia... Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Rachel Corbett. Very fine effort. And at the end of our Newsmakers round, our scoreboard tells the story. Out front is Celia Pacola. One last chance for everyone when we return with our final round.